act because one of them, like Oliver Twist in the orphanage pleading for a little more food, spoke up and said, Sir, could we have just the slightest bit of evidence, please? <laughs> and the very concept of evidence seemed foreign to them. And that seemed weird to everybody, even people who believe that Trump is Putin's servant and NATO is a philanthropic, charitable organization. <laughs> what if they're wrong about more than the ability to sail through without evidence? What if people are not actually impressed by armchair killers watching families blown up on a screen? What if they're wrong? Not about the U.S. public wanting a war with Russia. They know the U.S. public does not want a war with Russia. At least not with any of the people who matter, the U.S. people, dying in it. But what if they're wrong also that we want or that we will put up with the reckless, macho, blustering and threatening that risks a war? A war that risks a nuclear war. A nuclear war that risks ending all life on this planet. What if they only consulted the same geniuses who told them to value the filibuster and bipartisan harmony over the lives of struggling people? What if we agree with them on the need to stand up strong and stop appeasing evil forces, but the evil forces that need resisting are not based in Moscow? They're over there working at Lockheed Martin and Boeing and Northrop Grumman and Fox News and CNN and MSNBC and down the street at the Washington Post and toiling away in the U.S. government dealing weapons around the globe, pushing for more and more bases and missiles and insisting on this Eurasian pivot away from small-time terrorists to demonizable governments because it's better for business. We need a Department of Defense against the warmongers. And in its absence, we got to build it ourselves. We got to do it ourselves. We got to build on what's here and in 35 some places around this country today and stop another goddamn war. Thank you for being here. Woo!